Welcome to Microsoft Security Risk Detection. Today, we're going to talk about how Microsoft Security Risk Detection uses Microsoft technology to find million-dollar bugs with the same technology we use at Microsoft by creating scalable labs in the cloud with cross-platform support. Previously, Microsoft Security Risk Detection has focused on Windows and Linux, but today, we're going to talk about web applications. This is the OWASP Juice Shop. OWASP is a nonprofit dedicated to teaching the world about security and web applications. And the OWASP Juice Shop is the most vulnerable juice shop on the internet. This is an application. You can go look at the source code on GitHub where terrible, terrible things like cross-site scripting attacks and SQL injection have been planted in order to help you understand what's right and what's wrong about web applications. Now today, we're going to walk through the newest feature in Microsoft Security Risk Detection, web scanning. If you go to MicrosoftSecurityRiskDetection.com, there's a, a link called Web Scans. And today, you can see we've created something called Juice Shop, which is a configuration in Microsoft Security Risk Detection for scanning. A configuration is a set of information that Microsoft Security Risk Detection needs in order to reach out to your website and scan it for critical issues like cross-site scripting or SQL injection. Let me show you first what the results look like, and then I'll show you how to get your own scan of your own website. So to look at the results, I can see there are two different scans. I'm going to click on this one. The scan results in Microsoft Security Risk Detection consist in multiple parts. The first part is a site map. The site map shows you all of the different pieces of the website that were visited by Microsoft Security Risk Detection during the scan. Uh, and I can actually click on these different pieces in order to understand more about the structure of the site. So here I can say, oh, there's these different pieces. I can expl explore more of these. There's these different products. And I can even expand all of it in order to get a complete view of the entire website. So I can drill down into each of these but I can also just get a sense at a glance of like, did I get a really great coverage of my site or not? And if I didn't, maybe I can change the configuration or tweak Microsoft Security Risk Detection in order to get better coverage. And our team is standing by to help you understand how to do that uh, if you don't get the coverage that you're looking for. But then I can take a look at, you know, what is a summary? I can see all of these different issues that have been found, the unique URLs. But what if I want to know more about one of these issues? Well, let me take a look at the by severity view. The by severity shows me each of the issues have been found ranked by high to low severity. So high severity, those are the things I really want to pay attention to. I can click all the way down to get the specific URL where the issue was found. And it tells me it's a blind SQL. This is the error ID. So this is a specific unique ID, which you, know, you can use for tagging or monitoring or metrics in your organization. I can say it's very high severity. It's a blind SQL. And I can hit the detail, and I can see that nine different variants of the attack were found during the Microsoft Security Risk Detection. Well, what is a blind SQL attack? I'm going to click on the more information to learn more about it. So the more information tells me that this parameter is probably vulnerable to SQL injection. It's considered blind because I inferred the vulnerability. It wasn't directly observed. But it was inferred because of specific attack techniques that capture knowledge that we have about what is a web vulnerability. And I can see for each of these attacks, this is a request that was seen, and this is the response. So now I can use this, I can run this in curl, and I can run against the website and say exactly what happened, and say, oh, this is something that is definitely reproducible, it's definitely an issue, and I need to go ahead and make sure I fix it. So that's a whirlwind tour of the results that you get, and you can see there's many other high results here. But then what happens if I want to create a new scan? Well. The way we think about it is there's these things called configurations. So there's Juice Shop is one configuration. WebGoat is another common application used for training that has terrible things planted in it. 
if you want to schedule another scan, all you got to do is push the request web scan button, which I just did here, and that will schedule a new scan for you to get created to go after your website. I can see the green check mark there, which means that Microsoft Security Risk Detection is going to go off and scan my website. Now this is, of course, for the Juice Shop configuration. Now let me just quickly walk through what configuration is, and then you can create a new configuration just by pressing the New Configuration button. So I'm going to look at the details of the Juice Shop configuration. So first of all, I have a name. This is something I can use to keep track of all the different websites I'm testing. And then I want to give it a root URL and say I want to allow crawling. And I can decide whether or not I want to allow crawling of child domains. So this is the specific root URL. Uh, we are hosting our own copy of the Juice Shop code. You can host your copy of Juice Shop, or you can point this to whatever URL your application is hosted in. The traffic which is used to do the scanning comes from the Microsoft Security Risk Detection servers, which are hosted in Azure. Those servers have static IP addresses, which we will share with you, so you can inform your IT department to make sure that they know that you're not under attack, that this is something that you actually want. The attack configuration allows you to pick which modules to test with. So there are 90 different modules uh, in Microsoft Security Risk Detection. You choose which ones you want to be enabled uh, for your application. Maybe you want to try everything and just see everything that could possibly happen, or maybe you want a faster, smaller scoped uh, scan which only looks at things like SQL, inje SQL injection. This particular website doesn't require any authentication, but you'll see in a second that we can add form-based authentication or other methods of authentication to make sure that you can log into your site. Uh, schedule, we will soon have the ability for you to schedule scans. Today you trigger them manually. And then we have advanced settings such as is there a proxy, what's the maximum number of links to crawl, the connection timeout, and so on and so forth. And you can change the header name and everything in order to make it tailored to your application. So if I, all I have to do in order to get the Juice Shop running is just have a new configuration. Uh, I can say I want to add different kinds of authentication. You can see here, here's the list. So you use this in order to help the crawler log into your website in order to get additional coverage. If there is a form of authentication you want but you don't see here, email fuzzing at microsoft.com to ask for it to be added. And our team can help you make workarounds in the near term to get better coverage in your website. And you can even give us a set of Selenium scripts to run, a set of traffic recordings, or Swagger documents that give the crawler additional information about your website in order to help you find more stuff faster. So this is something that you can use in order to find serious issues in your websites. And this is Juice Shop as just an example of Microsoft Security Risk Detection giving you coverage across Windows applications, Linux applications, and web applications. For more information on this and other features, go to microsoft.com slash msrd. That's microsoft.com slash msrd, where you can find additional information around how Microsoft Security Risk Detection helps you with applications across your entire estate. Thank you.